Hello there, this is the Allen Butter. Today, let's do another author challenge. This time, List Challenge. Hope I pronounced the name right. So, after each book, vestiges are destroyed, you gain their vestige sets. When using vestige harvester, increase the random equip set by one, decrease random set by one. After winning combat, increase the random equip by set by one. And you take 10% damage for each vestige equipped. That sounds very not fun, honestly. <laughs> Uh, it just means anything you collect is just worthless after the end of the book. Hmm. Not cool. I'm gonna go say hello to... I think I, I went after Cinder last time, so maybe go say hello to Argoloth? I kind of spent some time thinking about how I'm gonna approach this challenge here, but I think overall it's just gonna be really difficult because... As you can see, you're gonna lose all your vestiges, which means... Yeah. Gives you room, but... You lose it. Sometimes those bonuses are actually very good. I'm gonna go go to let's go to the Vengewood. Sort of have a plan, sort of don't. So I was thinking about it here. Let's see here. I know if I get at least, well, there you go. Wood collector actually works, so I'll, I'll go with this. So you think about it, right? If you lose all your items every time the book ends. Stuff like this really is not going to help you because then, say, like, you get Executioner, you need Hex and Shatter. You need to inflict those somehow, but you can't because uh, your items are gone. While stuff like Will Collector, yeah, okay, you get stuff like on turn three stacks Shatter Will. You can still get the bonus from this by just collecting orbs, which works nicely. So that's why I went Clips of Extraction. This one here gives you this trinket. Minus one will reserve, but when you collect an orb, it generates mitosis, so every next turn afterwards, going forward, please game, let me see that. Okay, fine. Whatever. Basically, you generate two turns. Two orbs, not two turns. Okay, enough blabbing. Let's go pick my first augment. So, I would imagine this is going to be hard. So I can kind of sound kind of Maybe play defensive by going Sat Fist. But I was thinking just maybe just blast through everything. Kill them. Dead things can't inflict damage on you, right? And I'm going to go with two items. Just to maximize here. Well, because this is the first round and I only have one item, that means I'm going to get two Will Collector. Very nice. Grab the orb. There's the mitosis I'm talking about. So this next turn, you should see two orbs. There it is. Let's go ahead and finish this fight. Please. Easy. All right, game. Two will. Yep. So we get another will. That'd be great. Oh, there's another good option. Orb Lord. So anything that does orbs I can really leverage so if I get orb load seven I get three orbs technically after a second turn if I manage to grab at least one orb so definitely consider this hold up I'm picking that up right now there's striker that's good I will actually take that because that's just damage right there also another thing that could be possibly be good is ancient wisdom but uh, let me think about that so it's either get more damage or Ancient Wisdom. As for this, I know I'm going to be taking more damage. So I think ideally, I want to kill stuff as quickly as possible. This has the synergy with my binding right here, which gives me the Critical Eruption, or to use that Critical Eruption Augment. So consider this. This is more kind of like pay now, get more later. I don't know. I want to do that. Poison vapor. Poison items. Anything that increases poison or the venomous set really is not a good idea in this run. Because some of the items you get from venomous, it's really powerful. So let's just go after image for the synergy with my augment right here. And here. Hold off on that. I know I'm grabbing you. So I don't have to reroll and save money. 
So that means I have a chance of getting Forever Frost next battle, which is really stupid. But yeah. Ugh. Yeah. So I guess go for items that are just like... They have single bonuses like this right here, which is really good for this type of run. I would get Sea Trickle, but that just means I might get a Mythos. So keep my... My vestige sets the numbers I have really, really low. So like right here, not optimal, I guess. Not mm, work it though. Here's what I can do though. I could chance it, go here and just eat this and hope for something good to happen with my RNG. Because I just started the run, let's do that. Shoot. What the? Okay. Well, give me, yeah, uh, huh, I'll take it, <laughs> so it's like increase one, plus two, I don't know, that was weird, is this, I gotta read that challenge again, but, yeah, that's, I'm not processing it quite yet, I thought this was like one up and one down, but, okay, whatever. Anywho, I need money. Tarnish 12 times 2 is not an option. This is not an option 2. I want more money, so let's go with this one. When I think about it, I think I might have made a mistake doing that because now I have permanent Everfrost in my, my Vestia set, so this might get a bonus. That means I kind of lose out, which sucks. Oh, he survived. I'm taking two damage. Uh, guess that's not so bad. Ooh, okay. Uh, I can kill all three just by punching once. This guy's the only issue here. Come on. Hitting me for five. Could kind of bunt him into his friend here. Can I? And he won't die? He's not dying. That sucks. Okay, then. Let's just do this. And... Just hit him. It's only four now. Let's run across over here. There's those crits. And they're going to gather around me. Good. So if you notice how I moved all the way across the map, that's just positioned like here, so the enemies all crowd around me, so I can take advantage of targeting much easier. Really pays off. I'm gonna take damage, but uh Yeah, it's not not too bad. Let me kinda reduce it just a little bit. I mean it's not much, but still gotta be careful, right? Got shattered will. All right. Ooh, I'm gonna cringe if I ever get Everfrost plus one or something else I don't need. I got Orblord, which is great, so I got a source of healing. I could go Will Collector. Or oh, correction, Ancient Wisdom. What am I saying? Jeez. It's been a long day. Forgive me. <laughs> okay, we'll think about rerolling that. This is fun, but if I I don't plan on going smiting, so that's just weird. I think the next best best option really is grasp. I played around discharge, and it's just like it was kind of underwhelming. I just maybe haven't figured out how to use it fully yet. So let's go with grasp, so I don't get gimped from like getting divine touch and have to rely on smite damage. As for this, let's reroll. Okay, it's another wheel collector. I'm okay with that. Okay. Could go to a vestigial shrine. Here's where things get kind of weird. I'm just trying to think of back, like, okay, here. So, when using a Vestor's Harvester, increase a random equip set by one and decrease a random equip set by one you know when i was recycling that item previously wouldn't 
Everfrost being recycled equal to zero? So it should not even be here right now. <laughs> That's so weird. So if I recycle it now, right? This will collect here. Wouldn't that mean I'd be I would be getting zero? So that just technically means I get no orb lord and I get a free item space, right? I don't know. I guess it's time to experiment and find out. The way this thing is worded just doesn't make sense to me. I could go sea breaching cover, but I'm just kinda curious, so let's go recycle this and see what happens. And okay. Orb Lord 4. Correction. Will collector. It just went up by one. That's so weird. I don't know what to say about this. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. Okay. Hmm. My mind is boggled. Anywho. Uh, I got lots of slots. Let's go get some more items with an easy battle. Not doing too poorly on money or on augments. Oh yeah, I'm not doing great on augments, but let's go maximize on items. Because it, by the end of the map, I get all the bonuses. Oh, this guy. I hate this guy. For very good reason. He's denying me of my chance of inflicting a lot of damage on this guy. Angry. So, I could do this number where I just drink the potion to, like, soak up the damage. And, like, hit hit the money pot, too. I could do that, actually. I want to hit the money pot really hard, so... Do that. I'm going to hit by just a little bit. That's okay. Then I do this to murder him and do a lot of damage onto the money pot. Maybe I should hit him, but, uh... Oh, well. Most importantly, need money. Let's stop him from going further. I want them all gathered around me, like here. Please? Please? No, did not work out. Uh. Ugh. Okay, there we go. This guy's the only guy who's really swinging at me. Can I hit all of these guys? Nope. That's fine. Let's make sure I can get out of here. Give me the crits game. Nope, gave me the wrong one. That's fine. As long as I can kill you, I should be good. I'm good. Let's run over here. I got the crit on the grasp. How much am I doing to you? Quite a bit. You guys are a problem too. So I know I can dodge this hit. So I shouldn't waste the grass, the critical grasp on him. These guys I can't really dodge, so I gotta finish them off. Let's grab you. Grab an orb. I'm good. Guess it didn't matter. That's fine. I can dodge him, so let's just punch him to get combos. Next turn, I'm gonna finish him off. Got crits for that. Cool. Got plus one will collector. All right, keep it coming, game. Oh, this is bad. So you see how like I would usually take this because it's magic, obviously. So increased damage, but then you have a ton of shadow damage. I can probably get away with like say. Well, yeah, I can get away with it because. I have Orb Lord, right, in my Tosis, so I can still kind of soak up the damage from Shadow, at least like Shadow 4. This still kind of sucks, though. Please don't be another Shadow item. Okay, good. And it's Smite. I hate how there's different item sets in here. If there's like singular ones, that would have been great. See, like this right here. See? I love more items like this right here. I'm taking that for sure. Okay. Tricky part. Terrible item. You look at this, they're all like enchanted shadow, enchanted shadow. 30 Omni damage is great. Does damage resist? Minus damage resist? Not so much. 
this first item over here, it's only on the first turn, so I guess, really, this is my best option right here. As for this, I'm getting close to Orb Lord 7. So, no issues with grabbing this. Let's grab this right here to get closer. Alright, game. So, it's an Augment or a Sea Breach. I got quite a bit of money. I'm full in health. RNG might be good to me. I only got one Augment. I'm going to pray for good RNG. Let's go Sea Breach. Who? See? Uh, let me think here. Minus 5 HP each combat. Minus 20. And I get Legendary. See, this would be great if it's like a normal run. But when you think about it, right... Because the way this, this challenge works, I'm going to lose the item, which really sucks. But... Doesn't mean I can't kind of leverage this somehow. This is also like a, a non-rank 20 run. I'm very, very close to... Hmm. If I duplicate something for Will Collector, it's not enough to get me the Will Collector 8... Same with Orb Lord. I don't have max... Or correction, I don't have a bonus for Enchanted or Shadow yet. But I do have this. It's a pretty hefty feat for 20 hit points just to get this, but... I think it's worth it. I can recover it with... Orb Lord, so let's go ahead and do this. Alright, that's a lot of damage, so... 75 magic damage. 30 Omni damage. Gives me quite a bit of a damage boost. So I'm not too afraid of dying for this next boss fight. And I still have my fish. So let's move on here. I uh, see you, Unbound Key. I'm thinking about it, but this is pretty... This is going to be a pretty hard challenge just because of the way I don't get to carry on my... What should I call it? My items. Which, that sucks. This is, uh... Not optimal. So, let's see here. I can definitely get the magic bonus from this and just be like... Yeah, I lose money, but... I know I want to carry stuff over. Let's grab you. 150. I do get a little bit of enchanted damage. Cool. Hmm. Not worry about healing. My augments look okay. Or glyphs. Let's just grab the uncommon augment here and round it to two. It's okay. So it's either quickened, being a shorter cooldown, or this being turn start three. Damage of 50 collision, not really desirable in my opinion. This gives me a, a free, kind of like a free will, essentially, whenever this is up. Because I'm going to use it. So that's actually good. This, my cooldowns in, shouldn't be too bad with because of extraction. So let's just go with prepared grasp. Alright, eat the fish, let's go fight the boss. Ah, oh, this guy. Right. Ah, very annoying. I need to make him dead. Very important. But let me make do and and not kind of like uh, how do you say it? Get punished for. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, hit all you jokers. Come on. There we go. I can hit all of them, actually. That's great. So that means from here, let's use this to get him. Boost my damage up like crazy and hit him really hard. Look at that nice juicy damage from the crits and get it marked. Yes. Because I'm not in immediate danger, let's just punch him. Good stuff. I take one damage. That's okay. I'll heal up. 
Here's where I get really afraid. He's doing 27 damage to me, but I think it's just from these guys. That's really hurting me. He's targeting me directly. There's my free blur. Let's grab this and this. Cool, it's on cool. It's off cooldowns, and because I'm doing crits on him, do this. Oh, look at that damage! Awesome. He's phased. Uh, I kind of wasted my orbs there. I could have waited till next turn. But that's okay. Did not plan that well. Didn't realize how strong I was. <laughs> uh, right. Gotta kill you guys. I gotta kill you too. That's very annoying. Please die. Ooh. Yeah, I'm being very careful with my movements. I can still get away from this. Just gotta knock him as far as I can like this get some distance i'm trying to push him as far as i can and get distance so that's why i'm positioning in this really weird manner here oh wow okay i actually made it cool <laughs> take one damage from shadow that's not damage from him though which is good please come over here could have came closer that's fine let's maximize here so obviously I don't want crits on this thing. I want crits on the eruption. So in order to kind of manipulate my RNG with after image, I use the hook. Now it should just give me a crit on, well, yeah, not critical eruption, but it went on my fist, which that's fine, whatever. I think the best option here is just to punch him in the face. Or let me just do this. Thinking too much there. I could use my infused fist, but I'm gonna just go save it just in case. He's gonna do his AoE attack next turn. Let's move here. Is he doing it? Is he doing it? Yep, there we go. That's what I was worried about. Let's knock him away as wait. He's gonna die soon, so let's just finish him off. Let's just tick him a little bit. And kill him. I wasn't paying attention, so I don't even know what kind of bonus did I, I got from this fight. Uh, Storm King 2, okay. That is terrible. Oh well. I'll make do. Cool. Uh, let's take a peek at this first. Yeah, not going crits. That is very lovely. Get even more orbs. That means more healing and more cooldowns. I'm probably going for this. This is too random. I don't like that. It's like out of four skills, which ones could get the discount? Don't like that. Okay. Let's think here. With the way things are going, I could just amp up my damage and be like blast everything with smithereens hope for, for crits with this thing or crits with eruption i don't have very high crits i'm reliant on after image or i can go for combo points that just means i can use my skills more correction so when i get tethering surge it's more of i'm using my fuse fist more or after image more because i get combo points i'm hitting multiple enemies it just doesn't really synergize well because i want to do like the after image thing and then get critical eruption which leads to this to get combo points i'm gonna go straight up straight up damage here just go chi overload okay i am grabbing and extracting grass for that orb and i really do not want to deal with the unbound just this challenge so nope i'm also full on items so let's go on here and see what happens to my items they should get destroyed we'll see
Yep, they got destroyed. And I can't really use the Vestas Extractor. Because I can't carry anything over. Wow. Okay. Oh, time to move on. <laughs> I'm going to go to the Garden's Edge. Yep, so most of the, the Vesha sets I have, I can at least take I can take advantage of the bonuses for without any like major items. So that's why I went for all this stuff right here. Minus you, Striker, which I did not get lucky with. That's fine. Alright, I am going to go with... I'm good with money. I'm really lacking in augments. So let's go with Square Vault and the Rare Augment times two. Should be easy. I need you dead. That'd be super overkill if I did this, maybe. No, it won't. I want, to, I want him dead, right? So let's just make sure he's dead. Get a little bit closer. There we go. Dead. There's a free orb, too. Cool. And uh, let's just punch somebody really hard. Because I'm going to grab this orb. Can I? Ooh, okay. Let's save this because uh, no combo points yet. You got both 968. Man, that, that physical damage is really weak. I gotta work on that. Looking at where these guys are coming out. I'm gonna move over here. Good, good. Like the positioning. Again, I need him dead. Let's grab. Please get through there. Cool. I'm gonna eat some damage from this because these two are probably gonna be alive. That's fine. Or one of them's gonna be alive. Hmm. Do I do this? I do. That is why. So he's like on death's door. So I can just. Tick him a little bit, and he's dead. All right, this this fight's won. Let's make sure of that. I got crits. Uh, yeah, cool. Wow, the game's just giving me crits now. It's so late. Uh -huh. Nothing great. I'm trying to avoid things that are that increases two vesture sets, but I just don't see that happening. Just because, yeah, items that vesture set for two or two bonuses for different vesture sets. Really, really annoying. Whatever. Ooh, even more healing. I know I'm killing stuff with this really desirable I like crits though that's more damage but I don't have anything to boost crits with so not really maximizing that this is still good though because that just means as long as I can make sure at least this is on cooldown I'm most likely going to get a crit on my chi overload which is great so okay not such a bad choice Hopefully, I don't get like a ascension where it does like, what is it, crits on everything. Because then this augment would become worthless. Because the ascension covers it all. So I'll keep that in mind. As for you, okay. It's a free runic strike, very situational. This is just damage reduction right here, which is nice. Dazed, cool. Because I hit him, do less damage for stronger enemies. That's great. See more utility in this, though. So the more enemies that's on the screen, the more damage reduction I have overall. So with this, it's going to be a total of two blur. A lot of damage reduc reduced, if you really think about it, per enemy. Because this is also now like a rank 20 run. This has a greater effect too, so let me grab blurring image. 
And for this, I'm just going to reroll. I don't like any of these items. I don't have anything for smiting. I don't have anything for shields. Definitely not poison warden. I have shadow, but yeah. If I take shadow four, well. Oh man, I'm actually hitting shadow four and higher just because I keep getting plus one to bonus items every fight. Hopefully RNG doesn't do something where it gives me shadow like every round. That'd be really stupid, but yeah, it could happen, right? So reroll. Hello. Oh, it's Orb Lord and it's enchanted. Perfect timing. Good stuff right here. Wondering why. I guess it's the obvious choice. Now I have access to Orb Lord 7 and my enchanted is maxed. The other items really didn't synergize or I had any, didn't have any sets for it. And I am not going through the Vestigial Shrine. I'm going to go through the Sea Breach and hope for some more good RNG here. Oh, it's good. Okay. Thinking. Thinking. I could go for physical damage sets. That would easily get me to Striker 4, which I'm okay with. I go with Crit Chance, though. This is a good passive bonus, but that just means my Meshes sets are gonna go crazy and I have like an addition for or like the was it crit chance Meshes items. I'm trying to have a better control over my my bonuses at the end of the fight. Let's go with this. Get some more physical Meshes items, but just because it says that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna give me physical items. Or striker. Okay, I am going to go with more Glyph Globes. Money sounds good, but, oh wait, I only get a rare augment times two and Glyph Globes. I want items too, so let's go over here. Holy moly, that's a lot of people. They're all going to hit me too. Ugh. Okay, I can kill these guys. Just give them a little nudge with this right here. This is why I'm saving this integration oil. For situations like this. So there we go. I can kill these guys who are hitting me. I want this money pot guy dead. Let's yank him over here a little bit closer. So I have an easier time targeting with a chi overload. See? Remember how I, I got that free thing with grass? Synergizes really well with my current setup with the... Uh, Clip extraction that gives me a minus one on my first turn. And I got a free orb too. Three orbs. Let's punch this guy really hard or I can just be like this. Ugh. Dead. I have a lot of movement. They're over here. Let's just move over, like, kind of here and hope they all gather around. Please come here. Perfect. You guys all nicely line up for me. Want him dead. Let's get a little bit closer. Yank him up here. Look at all those orbs. I got this. And I got Will Collector. Let's keep it coming. Come on, game. There we go. He's got a little bit of damage just to kill him, so let me do this to maximize. The first person that hits, it gets hit by this is probably going to take the most damage and from the collision too, so that's why I went over here to hit this guy instead. And I think I want to be prepared. I can't grab the orb again, can I? Once per turn. Yep, so don't use it this... Use again this turn. Hold on to the blur. Let's move over here. Come over here, please. Gather around. Get destroyed. Oh, yes. I can hit all of them. They're all gonna die. Except you. So, let's do this. Grab you. There we go. I think I have enough orbs to hit them all, so it's like one each. Just 
just gonna grab it. Yep, there we go. Oh, plenty. Thank you, Will Collector. If I can get to Will Collector 8, that would be lovely. There we go. There's a Will Collector and there's Enchanted, which I'm perfectly okay with. But this is lovely too, but then it just gives me another vestige set for Ancient Wisdom, so... RNG. Yep. Not always the greatest thing. Everfrost. How dare you become two when I don't even have anything for Frost? Yeah. That's just from the, the challenge, given the bonus. Whatever. Not very desirable. Okay. What do you have here for me? I can work with this, kind of. Finishing Fist is good. I got combo points, but it's not as much. No real synergy here because, uh, whatchamacallit. Had I taken this thing to get more combo points with the multiple hits, would have been great. This is still good, though, because I get double damage per combo stack, but, uh, right. I don't generate that much combo points without Twin Lash. Let me think about that before I grab that. I'm grabbing this, though. Can't go wrong with this. Will Collector 7. So just reroll and hope I get another Will Collector to get to Will Collector 8. Uh, Orb Lord, nope. Would be a nice item, though, but no. Really thinking about this right here. But really, it's just be like Striker 2. And. Huh. Magic Physical Binding kind of synergizes well, but I lose the item because that's how the challenge works, so let's keep rerolling here. Come on, Will Collector. Ooh. Nope, let's keep going. I want Will Collector 8. Nope. No. Please, game. Don't do this to me. There we go. So I do get the Bastion. That's fine. That just means I can negate one shadow damage from here. Okay. As for this... I'm not going to reroll and get something else that's terrible, so let's just go to Finishing Fist. Okay. I got Glyphs, so let's go spend over here, over here at the Binding Empowerment instead of rerolling or correction, hoping something good comes out from the Sea Breach. Okay. Oh. These are all kind of terrible. I'm going to be generating tons of orbs. Not very optimal. I don't want to spend any glyphs either on re-rolling. I basically get like a quick and grasp like essentially every turn. So there's no point in doing this base cooldown because of my orbs, I think. Let's get some movement here with this or not because I just realized this could be maxed out. So hold off on that. I guess just use this just to fill up the, the empty augment slots for finishing fist. Let's go ahead and buy this over here. Ugh. Ooh, okay. I see what I'm going for. So, Sundering Punch is just the increase in damage against things I'm punching. And because I have tons of orbs and will collector, it only makes sense to do this. This is not desirable. I guess you can get more damage from... Oh, wait. When used with a combo. Right. I don't do combos with this, really. Kind of waste. This is where I'm dazing stuff from colliding enemies. Uh, yeah. Let's go Sundering Ruin Strike. Okay. What are my options here? Get more items. And an augment. Or augment bolt quilling cage. 
I know I'm going to clear out items, so I guess the best option really is just to maximize the amount of items I can get, so let's go with this. Not a hard encounter, I know. Please let me kill you, nope. Well, I can sort of finish you off afterwards, maybe. I'd rather not chance it though, so let's hook him. There we go, all your support buddies are dead, now it's just you and me. I'm about to pummel you, buddy. Let's grab this. And I'm back to five willpower. Awesome. Oh, man. That's one common point. I still can't finish him. I still can do a lot of damage from this, so let's just go ahead and use this right now instead of waiting until next turn because he has Hex and Shatter on him. Let's make him come towards me over here. Your support buddies are here again. And you're too far away. Get get over here, please. There we go. Should be able to finish his support friend. Let's grab the rest of these orbs. Easy fight, as it should be. game see yeah this is one of the times when it's like man I wish the challenge didn't destroy my items would really love this not getting any great bonuses from this either or any of these items remember how I said Remember when I got that thing that has an increased chance for, for physical items? I just don't see it here. And I don't see any physical items here. So it feels like the game's just throwing crits at me though. Because you notice how many crit items there are? Precision, precision here. Wow. Okay. Not cool game. Whatever is. Don't have an issue with cooldown. I guess if I really want to like daze people, this would be it right here. It's free. I'm hitting whatever is strongest, so maximize bonus on this compared to quickened image and stunning fist. To do dazing for stunning fist, I have to collide them. Sometimes I just don't have enemies to collide. This, like I was saying, orb lord in mitosis and extracting. Grasp gives me enough cooldown, so kind of pointless. Let's just go with this though. Do something with my my dazing for for this here. All right, item time. Ah, this is all terrible. I could kind of get like a, a bonus for X executioner maybe. Uh, three items. It's totally possible to get get Executioner and save money. It's so RNG though. Ooh. Thinking about it, I think I might commit. So because I don't need an item to inflict what is it? Shatter and Hex? I can definitely see why I'd I would desired executioner right now. This is not really great, so okay. Let's go get me some executioner items here. Let's grab you. And let's grab you. Yeah, I know. All my sets are all over the place now. You see, it's like precision, executioner, storm king, shadow, reaver. Oh boy. Ah. I work it though. Let's go up to the Gardener and reroll for another Executioner item. Come on, game. Nope, did not want to give it to me. Nothing desirable. Maybe this, but uh, I really need Executioner. So let's reroll. I have money. Not much, but it should appear, right? Maybe. I don't see any Striker items. What happened with my striker items, like you said, game? You lied to me. 
Well, here's here's what I need to get excuse here. So let's grab it. I'm gonna have another extra thing for vigorous, but whatever. It is what it is. On to the carver. Nothing I'd really want. If I reroll once, I'm just gonna be super broke. Yeah. Maybe you. That just gives me a molten though, which that's very not desirable. Probably gonna save money rerolling the the vaults up ahead after I kill this boss here. Let me not get this rare augment and save my glyphs just to reroll for any of my ascensions if I find something undesirable. Let's eat this fish here and let's go. It's my boy Nim. Get over here, please. Thank you. Let's grab this orb. I'm gonna get a crit on that, which is perfect. Now it's just to generate combo points and hit him really hard. Which I'm gonna do. How many combo points do I have? Combo. Blur. Shattered will. Too many things on my screen. I'm just gonna hit him like this, because I don't know where I'm at with... Okay. Two more, so let's just go ahead and do this. Don't know where your friends are coming out. Let's make you come up here. Oh, you want to be down there. Okay. Oh, not anymore. You're coming up here. You <laughs> repositioned him. Oh, okay. There's my crits for that. So, don't have to use blur. Let's start pummeling him. To get those combo points generated. I should have zero. So I can just keep punching him. Ooh, I really wish I can combine like marking and, and this because it would be doing so much damage, but yeah, that's not the case here. Phase him. Cool. That was probably overkill, but whatever. Not hitting me, but I'm gonna hit you. Just get over here, please. And let's do... Give me crits on the finishing fist. Awesome. Grab all the orbs. I'm actually going to leave you just for next turn. Because then I'll be wasting the cooldowns of the turn. Let's get to work on this guy. Almost dead. I should finish him this turn. Okay. Let's just focus on the boss. I can kill him this turn. No! I could give me crits on the finish on the finishing fist, but you didn't want to. That's okay. Oh, he's dead anyways. And let's go take a look at the binding tuner. Oh, see. Ah. Well. I can kind of work with you. Phasing image means I get crits on all my attacks. Or correction, most of them. If I don't have grasp up, which I'm going to use grasp immediately. So I think this is not so bad. Well, let me see what is here, though. Random discount. Okay. There's the impact damage. And crit damage. I'm gonna have crits on it probably. So let's grab this and let's get the synergy going with this crit damage thing right here. I have glyphs to spend. Let's go ahead and go back to the shopkeeper and go buy that augment. Okay. I bought something called Ending Rune Strike. Gaining combo grants 125 damage on the next runic strike. This synergizes really well with Twin Lash, which I don't have, but hey, just punch him like three times and I get 125 damage. Not a bad deal, just more damage. All right, let's go on to the Sieve Ink. Yeet. I gotta keep two items for the boss fight when I think about it, so not so bad. 
Yeah. Oh, it's these guys. So you're hitting me. You guys are hitting me. I've taken 24 damage. I can kind of reduce it if I do this number. It's okay. I'm probably going to do. Give me crits for all this stuff. But I know I'm hitting him with the Chi Overload soon. So no point in that. Let's make sure this guy's dead so I can at least take less damage. Yeah. Alright, he's dead. Now I gotta kill you guys. 18 damage. Ooh. Let me reduce it. There we go. Blur. Greatly reduced damage there. Awesome. I still got finishing combo. Finishing fist, so maybe I can pull it off and kill one of these. Let's work on you. Just because you're close. Oh, you're dead. Cool. That was easy. Just taking six. I'll heal up. Thank you, Orb Lord. Give me them heals. Well, this one guy wants to hide in the back, so I'm just going to punish him for that. Get over here. It was a bad idea, because then I can't kill this guy up here. Ugh. All good. Let's make sure I don't die. Ooh. Okay. Unavoidable damage. Avoidable damage. So I gotta kill this guy in the center. I can do that. Give me the combo point. Oh, you're dead. Let me save the combo points. Who's targeting me? You guys. I want you dead. What if I do this number? Ooh, okay, that's a lot of damage. Let's kill this guy. Because he has a lot more hit points than him. I'll just clean up this guy afterwards. Hopefully, we'll see. Okay, maybe not. That's fine. Just three damage. Oh, that tickles. I'm gonna heal up. <laughs> I'm gonna... Pull this guy back here. You just wanna wanna hide in the back just like all your other friends. I don't think so. Get over here, please. Cool. Let's grab the orbs. After I do that. These two are hitting me, so let's just Punch this guy once to get a combo point going. Or not. Okay. He's dead. Will Collector's not going to activate. Can I finish you off maybe? Not quite. I can grab the orb. And let's punch him once. There we go. Okay. That's useful. I'm using Chi Overload as soon as I get get it off cooldown, so this is really helpful. Not so much with this RNG with discounting image, so no to that. Don't need this. That's just crit chance and it's a collision damage, which probably synergizes well with the uh, finishing fist, but I just notice I'm using discounted or I'm using eruption more, so Correction. Chi overload. It's been it's been ascent, so let's grab this. And I'll take a peek at these vaults. And I'm probably gonna buy whatever's in the shop because I have just no money to reroll. See you soon after I go visit Deer. Alright. So I picked up three items. I as soon as I went to a shop, focus bond enhancer bought it. Couldn't re-roll, because I was just, you know, super broke. But, good item. Plus one will reserve. Conserve leftover will between turns, so when I have a phase Argoloth, I can keep my willpower and keep going. Probably keeping is a good idea. And I got an Increto. And I got a Heartbringer's Trophy to give me that bump with the Striker damage there. Just a little bit, which, yeah, could have 
probably got better if I had more money, but it's all good. And, yep, this gives me... Was it, uh, cooldown reductions when I crit, which I get from here, instead of having a high crit. Hmm. I'm kind of, kind of hating how that one sea breach said more physical items in my, my loot, but I just didn't see it. Kind of annoying, but whatever. Let's go on and fight Argoth and win this challenge. Okay. I see you guys. I'm probably gonna go after him. Let's do the Chi Overload. Ah, oh, should did that first. Right. It's all good. I'm gonna work on you. Please die. Good. Can I make it climb to you instead? Uh, or please. Ah, uh, couldn't finish him. I'm taking zero damage. Remember that that stack of blur and the was it blur and then after image blurring image. That is why it's very good for this this kind of run. These tentacles are pretty weak, so I essentially take no damage because I'm negating so much. Let's see how much you're doing. I think they're doing like two. Two piece, three now. Okay, I can finish one of these guys though. Probably you, but let's do actually dead. Let's start punching you. Please phase Argoloth. There we go. His friends up here aren't. Uh, they're not phased yet. Really annoying. Or he's not phased yet. Let's grab the orbs. Go punch his friends. Punch his, his tentacles, I mean. Phase him, and I'm just gonna save my... Wait, don't save it. Correction. Do that to negate damage and save that one will. Thank you, Vocus Bond Enhancer. Let's go clean up these tentacles before they murder me. Probably the one in the back because he's targeting me. Ugh. There we go. Let's grab the orbs and make sure I can get up there. Ugh. Cool. Negate some damage. There we go. Can't collide him with anything, I think. I can collide him with you. Cool, let's do it. More damage. And... Keep punching him. I'll do the finishing fish next turn. Please die. Nope. That's okay. You're gonna die soon. Let's, let's hook you. Cool. Oh. Uh, dead. I got crits on your race, so don't need to activate that. Other tentacles dead. Look at all that willpower. Yes. <laughs> I'm not taking damage, so I can hold off on using my blur and image. Please die. Cool. Phased. Okay. Uh, oh, let's save this for next turn. Conserve willpower. Get those. Three of you. Hit all three of you. 
Make sure I gotta get our range out of this because he's doing his uh, giant beam attack. Right. I'm gonna move up here. Careful positioning. Crash him into his own base. Please die. Ugh. Okay, not quite dead. That's fine. Get out of range. Take zero. I'm going to go move down here and attack these guys because I can probably at least hit all three of them. Or at least two of them with the Chi Overload. Okay. Let's do this. Mark you. Seems kind of bad. I... I know. Not as bad as you think. Okay, it's bad. I thought I could hit all three of them. I guess not. Let's just hit the hit Argoth in his face and him. And I am going to start punching you. Ah, uh, I'll save the finishing fist for you down here. Flicked you with both. Kill you. Wow, I got a lot of movement. Let's go after you next. Come on. That's fine. I should kill Argo off this turn. No? Jeez. Oh, there we go. Almost dead. Gotta punch his face. Or his tentacles. That'll be good. GG's. Okay. That was not a bad challenge like I thought it was. After I read it initially, it's like, man, this is gonna be tough. Yeah, it's kind of tough when you don't have items, but I guess... Make sure you get the right stuff and you'll be a-okay. All right. What'd I get? Not much. Okay. All right. That was the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a good day.